I have a cartoon that Charlie Hebdo has caused some of the cartoons that he has put up. I want you to look at this cartoon. This cartoon is against my Lord Jesus Christ. I am a Christian. And I hold strong to the Lord Jesus Christ as my God. Now, how many of you are offended by this? Is there anybody offended by it? I'm offended by this. It's offensive to me. Not so close. Okay, folks. Here's another one. Here we go, folks. Here's another one that mocks my Lord Jesus Christ. And it says that he's going to come back. And so he's going to, his next act will be the resurrection. That's offensive to me. This is probably the most offensive. This is highly offensive to me. There's the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit doing a sexual act. Do you find that offensive, folks? See, I find that offensive. Should Charlie Hebdo be killed because of this? No! Should we kill anybody because of offense? No! Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Think through. This is highly offensive to me as a Christian. This is the cover of Charlie Hebdo. And it came out in two years ago in 2012. Let me show you another one. You disagree, sir. No, no, no. You disagree. They shouldn't do that. Why should they not do that? Because if we believe in Jesus and Mary. Jesus as a prophet of God and Mary as a holy woman. They, they should not do that. Okay, so any time it's a religious subject. It offends me. But it offends me. Yes. And that's why I say he shouldn't do that. He shouldn't offend people. He shouldn't hurt people's feelings. Especially when they when they murder somebody. So what would you like to do to Charlie Hebdo? What should we say? Should we censor Charlie Hebdo because he has offensive? What's the, what's the point he do that? That is he provoking people. What is the point? It's called caricature. They shouldn't do that. It's called caricature. They shouldn't do what that. What does caricature mean? If they have any point, any logic and reason, they're right, and then we can refute it. Actually, this one is very well done. If you read this, this is the whole story. It's actually a whole book. I don't have it here today. I'm just giving you the cover. It goes to the whole book of Jesus Christ. What and what it point? does, what it actually point? sources every one of the stories in the gospel of Jesus Christ. He's insulting people. He's insulting people that your God and his mother are like that. He's depicting them. Yes, he does insult and he should Can he insult my lord he can yes he can yes he has all the right to insult but as a muslim you say he shouldn't insult excuse me i want you to show this one the holy prophets of god i am a celebrity get me out of here he doesn't want to be on the cross that's my lord jesus again saying please get me out of here i am a celebrity now folks that's offensive to me as well these are all highly offensive and i don't have to buy the magazine do i no i don't have to buy the magazine now what is your point i'm getting to it i'm getting to it i want the christians here to say are there any christians who are not offended by this not offended no hands raised so you're all offended by this am i correct yes, yes. every one of you is offended yes should they have the right to then draw these pictures and put them on a magazine i think we're all agreed should they be killed for this no no there's not one Christian here that said they should be killed. Even the Muslims, they say that. No. Prove this as well. And the Muslims yeah. are saying and they should not listen, be killed. One second, you are proof enough. You've been here talking about Muhammad many years, nobody touched you. Oh, I've been proof many times. No. Oh. 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 Get your facts right. Get your facts right. Get your facts right. And he's still attacking Muslims. And he's still attacking Muslims.
it's lie. I have been beaten. And he has been beaten. It's lie. No, no, it's lie. I have been beaten. And he has been beaten. Get your facts right. Don't lie. Don't lie. Is this offensive to you? He is lie. He's still alive. Yes, I'm still alive. I'm better than Bruce. And I have many scars from Muslims. And you're still lying. Therefore, you go. I'm still lying. To you. Now, let's look at this one. You are broken up. What does this say? It's in French. Muhammad overwhelmed by the fundamentalists. It's hard to be liked by the cons. That's Muhammad there. Does that offend you? Say Muhammad like that. Does that offend non-Muslims here? Now we're getting into the real reason why these men were killed. Here's all three faiths who are offended. This came out in 2007. Charlie Hebdo must be bailed, is what they're saying in French. Not just the Christians, not just the Muslims, the Jews want him to be bailed as well. Look at this one. A thousand lashes if you don't find, die of laughter. Again, there's Muhammad again, saying a thousand lashes. Why don't you get into the limit of the Muslims who killed by murderers? There's Muhammad in a wheelchair, being pushed by a Jew, and he's saying, stop laughing. Stop laughing, because he'd be pushed by a Jew. Is that offensive to you? Of course it's offensive. But you allow them to do that. I will try, I will try my best not to. I will protest against that, but of course not get physical. But I'll protest, I'll try my best, and I'll raise my voice against it. And I thank God, because but I know you, you hear week after week, but we're good friends, aren't we? Yes, yes. And you do not attack me physically. But you are very verbal that this offends you. Yes. And it offends me too. I find all of these offenses. We must allow offense. We must allow offense. This is the latest one. That's Muhammad having his head cut off by Jihadi John. Just came out in October. And he's saying, I am the prophet, you moron. And Jihadi John is saying, shut up. Shut up. Infidel. Shut up, infidel. That's highly offensive. I understand this. Yes, and it's mocking my Lord Jesus Christ. Greater than a prophet, it's my God that they're mocking. See, he's just a prophet to you. But I allow them to do this. Why do I allow them? Now, folks, this is the main reason why they were killed on Wednesday. Because of these two books. These are two books that were made by George Walensky. George Walensky put together the life of the prophet, part one, and the life of the prophet, part two. This is number one, this is number two. It is these two books that George Walensky lost his life for. When the two brothers went to Charlie Hebdo, they wanted George Walensky. They wanted him especially. He was the older man, the bald-headed man. Because he made two complete books about the prophet's life. And I don't won't show all of it to you, but when you look inside, you can see they are caricatures. They are overdone. They accentuate different things about the prophet. You can see there is nudity in here. What is interesting is that whenever George Walensky does a story about the prophet Muhammad, he footnotes it with the intention that you go back to the back because in the back you have the references for the footnotes. Everything he drew comes from your traditions, comes from Al-Buhari, Sahih Muslim, Al-Dabari, Ibn Daud, Ibn Hisham. All of this that's in this book is sourced in Islamic tradition because these stories say exactly who Muhammad is and what he did. But Muslims do not read these stories. They're not aware of what Muhammad did with Aisha. They are not aware of what Muhammad did. But, we know. but the angels came and opened his chest and took out the heart and washed it. Most Muslims are, you are. But most Muslims are not aware of that. And it was the style that he used. The fact that he used caricature.
caricature. The fact that the Prophet Muhammad's face is on it with a big nose. That is why they were angered. And that's why most Muslims are angered today. Because it's the caricature. But folks, character, caricature is part of who we are in the West. We allow caricature in the West, do we not? Yes. We allow it. In fact, we even not only condone it, we approve it. We not only approve it, we love it. That's why we have many journals in this country that have comic strips that also use caricature. They accentuate the nose or the ears or the eyes or the body parts of the person that they're trying to mock. It's called mockery, yes. It's called mockery. I'm sorry? Okay, folks, stop. We're going to now go to the root of the problem. Why is it that these two brothers, why do you think, hold on, why do you think these two brothers had to kill these artists and these cartoonists? I have, I have the question, I have the answer. Go ahead. Remember in 2011, the guy from Norway who killed 37 people, he was a Christian, yeah, and he went to the island and he got, it's the same reason. Bible. Yeah. Why did he kill them? Why didn't he you talk about him? Bible. You're talking about the Norwegian. Yeah. Is what is the Christian? Norwegian what is, Norwegian? is he a Christian to begin with? Yeah. No. Did he talk no. the Bible when he did yeah. so? No. Is there anything in the Bible that supported what he no. did? No. Is there anything in the Quran that supports what these men did on Wednesday? Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Shall we look at the Quran? Yeah. In order to understand what happened on Wednesday, you're going to have to open the Quran. Open it. You're going to have to open Surah 33, Ayah 56, Ayah 57, and Ayah 61. Folks, this is not my book. This is your book. Let's see what it says. Read it. Verily, those who annoy Allah and the Messenger, that's Muhammad, Allah has cursed them in this world and in the hereafter and has prepared for them a humiliating torment. Then it continues on and it talks about Muhammad's wives. Then it comes back to those who accursed them, the hypocrites, in verse 16. But look and see what it says to those who are accursed, the hypocrites. Verse 61. Accursed, they shall be seized wherever they are found and killed with a terrible slaughter. The accursed, they shall be seized wherever they are found and killed with a terrible slaughter. Folks, it's right out of the Quran. You don't have to look far. And don't just stop with this verse. Surah 33, Ayah 57. You can go to Surah 9, Ayah 5. Slay the unbeliever wherever ye find them. Surah 8, Ayah 39. Slay those who commit fitna, those who commit unbelief, until there is no more fitna in the land. And all pay homage to Allah. What about the Christians and the Jews? Surah 9, Ayah 29, make war on the people of the book. Folks, it's the Quran that we need to be looking at today. This is the book that motivates those men to do what they did on Wednesday. Why was Charlie Hubdo, why was that committee, those four cartoonists, George Walensky and the others, why were they killed on Wednesday? Come on, give me an answer for that. Do you know what is the punishment? Answer the question. Do you know what is the punishment? for them from the Quran for those men for those two men yeah you the know two men the, the two brothers yeah Tell me you know what is the punishment go ahead you don't know anything about they the will be given not only will they, they be given be a reward for what they have done in the paradise. because they According to Surah 56 and Surah 55, they will be given in paradise the foodies. But we're not going to get on to that. Let's get on to that. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Read 
I decided to Muhammad. You said Quran. Do you remember? No, I didn't say Quran. I said the first time of the first of freedom of speech. I'm not lying, man. There is no place on earth like Nature's Corner. This is the one place where we can not only ask these questions, but come somehow work it through to conclusions. Now, folks, this book is very clear. Where is those who mock the prophet? From the Quran. They will receive their reward. And what does the reward? A great slaughter in verse 61. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say about mockery? What did Jesus have to go through? Was Jesus mocked? Yes, he was. Was Jesus not only mocked by the Romans when they put the thorn on his head, mocking him when they beat him, mocking him as he tore, went through the town with the cross on his back? They spat upon him, did they not? Yes. They did. Yes. And when they put him on the cross, they drove nails into his hand. That's true. They drove nails into his hand. That's true. They drove nails into his hand. No, is that a lie? Is this a lie? Yeah. No. Yeah. Is that what Jesus had happened to him? Yeah. When he was put upon the cross, did not they not stab him? Yes, they did. Did they not stab him with yes, a spear? Yes, they did. Did they not give him yes, he was. bitter water? Yes, he was. Were they not yes, mocking was. Jesus Christ? Yes, he was. And that is my God. How did Jesus respond? Yes. The Father forgives them for the cross. Today. Jesus. Jesus.